If you'd like to support the channel and get your hands on some awesome setups and liveries for MX bikes, be sure to go check out the memberships on my YouTube channel starting at just $1.99 a month. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's Stratus and today we're going to be installing a reshader on MX bikes. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to reshade.me, link will be in the description, and you're going to download it. Uh, go right here, make sure you're not clicking on any of the ads up here, and you'll download the latest version of Reshade. Uh, if you have Chrome and it gives a unverified download block, just click the little arrow and click download unverified file. And once it's done, go ahead and open up the installer. All right, so once you have Reshade downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and run it. Now, if you have a bunch of games that are gonna show up here, we're gonna go down and find MX Bikes. Click it, next. Leave it on OpenGL rendering. Hit next, hit browse. Go to the preset that you're gonna download in the description, or you can just hit skip and create your own later. Hit next. And then right here, these, we're just going to leave these as default. Go ahead and hit next. It's going to install, create all of the effects files and everything. And we're done. Now we can go ahead and open up MX Bikes. All right, so now we're in MX Bikes. And when you open it up, it should look a little bit different. And you should see the reshade banner up at the top. Go ahead and hit the home key. Open it up, hit skip tutorial. So now you can see from this little drop down that we have the reshader that we uh, downloaded from the description already installed. You can also go to MX Bike Mods and download reshaders from there, or you can download it from people's discords or whatever else you need. And all you gotta do is hit the uh, plus right here, hit the document, find it, name it, and you can have multiple presets. Um, one other thing you'll want to do is go to settings and right here the effect toggle key you can create a shortcut so I'm going to use uh, the insert button and basically what this does is if we hit home I can toggle the shader on and off depending on if I want to use it or not so let's go back in the testing and uh, see what the new track looks like All right, so right off the start, I can tell by the sky right here that it is a little bit brighter. All right, so let's go turn a lap and see if I like the uh, new reshader or not. This is uh, Mechanicsville. So if you guys would like this track, please check out the uh, track download in the description. So I can tell right off the bat that this preset that I use, which is actually made by uh, Trojan, so thank you for the pre uh, preset. But I can tell right off the start that it's a little bit brighter than it used to be. So uh, probably the saturation and brightness is turned up a little bit, which is fine. Um, I might actually turn it down a little bit, but. Just to kind of show you guys the difference, we'll leave it where it's at. So I can go to the hotkey that I mapped, hit the insert, and this is before. I mean, look at look at the difference, guys. I mean, this is the default pababo, and this is what it is now. I, I mean, it's absolutely insane what such a simple program can do. Uh, to your uh, to review, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really a uh, simple video. Hopefully this will help a few of you guys with your reshaders. It's honestly pretty easy. Yeah, uh, if you guys want to get into editing your own uh, effects and stuff like that, I would definitely go check out some of the other videos on YouTube. They go into it in much greater detail than I ever could. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this, but I wanted to make a video on it because I know a lot of you guys have uh, some pre-shade, pre-shades, pre-built shaders from like MX Bike Mods and stuff like that that you want to try out. 
you maybe don't know how to install them. So uh, yeah, now you know. Thanks for uh, watching. Appreciate you guys, as always, getting close to 4K subs. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.